Good morning everyone. I am Krisha Oshir and I am assigned to discuss about the famous author of post-EDSA literature that includes Ricardo Lee and Anton Remoroto. One of the famous author of post-EDSA literature is Ricardo Lee. Ricardo Lee or also known as Ricky Lee. Ricardo Lee is a Filipino writer, a fictionist, a journalist, and a playwright. He has written more than 150 film scripts since 1973 earning him more than 50 trophies from various award-giving bodies, including a 2003 Natatanging Gawad Orian Lifetime Achievement Award from the Manunuri ng Pilikulang Filipino. He has worked with the best Filipino directors, and many of his films have been screened in the International Film Festival circuit in Cannes, Toronto, and Berlin, among others. His body of works, which has spanned over 40 years, include writing short stories, plays, essays, novels, teleplays, and screenplays. Example of Ricardo Lee's literary works, we have Kabilang sa mga nawawala, or in English, it translates to Among the Disappeared, is a novel, a story about a boy named Junjun, the son of Tibak, a UP slang for activista. His father is one of those who fights against martial law. His father was captured and was never seen again. While his mother goes hiding in the mountains, he was sent to other people to take care of. In the story, he was invisible and he was looking for his body. In his journey, he saw his grandmother and his mother. Finally, when he saw his body, it was already dead and was shot by a soldier. The famous line of the novel is, Sa wakas, nagbalik na ang nawawala. We have si tatang at mga himala ng ating panahon. We also have para kay B. Para kay B is his first launch novel. Para kay B o kung paano dinevastate ng pag-ibig ang 4 out of 5 sa atin. The next famous author of post-EDSA literature is Danton Remoroto. Danton Remoroto is a Filipino writer, essayist, reporter, editor, columnist, and professor. Remoroto was a first prize recipient at the ASEAN Letter Writing Contest for Young People. ASEAN stands for Association of Southeast Asia Nation, so Danton Rimoroto is really talented not just here in the Philippines, he showcases talent, but also in Southeast Asia just like Ricardo Lee, whose work goes international. He is also the chairman emeritus of Ang Lad Lad, a lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender LGBTQ political party in the Philippines. Danton Rimoroto is a professor and teaches English and journalism at the Ateneo de Manila University. Examples of Danton Rimoroto's literary works we have Skin, Voices, Faces, This is a Poem, X Factor is an Essay, Lad Lad is a book written by Danton Rimoroto, Antipolo Vender is his popularized poem. The Way We Lived, This is an Essay, written in the year of 1992. In this work, the author is trying to show the lifestyle or a culture where the day comes alive at night. It shows the different cultures and societies in today's world and how they function. It shows the bending of the norms, a culture wherein there is no discrimination in gender, but only the happy part of being free and the sadness of being alone. Translating Desire is an essay. In this essay, it was taken from Rimuroto's Seduction and Solitude. This essay talks about giving desire to the parents that we must not give any more heartaches in the last days of their lives. A Teacher Tale is an essay. In this essay, the readers can learn the gift of suffering. How important the essence of suffering, because this we can really learn what is the trend of life. The essay tells us what can suffering bring to us and what we can be because of it. The message of the essay is that suffering steals you. It haunts and sharpens you. It gives you inner life dimensions and depth. Conversation is a poem. This poem was written by Danton Remoroto, a first prize recipient at the ASEAN Letter Writing Contest for Young People. This poem talks about a good conversation between people. It also talks about having an intelligence of how we con converse to people around us. Like many other contemporary poets, Danton Rimoroto is trying to establish his own place in the history of Philippine contemporary literature. 
Although his poetry reflects his youthful idealism, nationalism, and his struggle against loneliness, still, his poem possesses a resounding resonance and exceptional no ones which move the sprint and the soul of the readers. It is necessary to note that he produces all poems in this, elect, in this collection where he was still on his early 20s. The way Danton Rimoroto presented a sample idea and his mastery in capturing the imagination by presenting a striking imagery is exceptional. No other poet can duplicate his mastery in weaving verses. That's all for my topic. Thank you for listening.